Thank you, friends, and you can be seated, please. We have assembled here in this gorgeous setting of God's creation for one express purpose this afternoon, and that is for the uniting in holy marriage, Laura Hendrick and J.D. Vandenberg. The Bible teaches that marriage is to be the permanent relationship of one man and one woman, freely and totally committed each other as companions for a lifetime. Our Lord declared that man shall leave his father and mother, unite with his wife in the building of a home, and those two shall become one flesh. And who gives this woman to be married? Her mother. J.D. and Laura, as we come to this moment in this altar for this beautiful cross that has been prepared for you by friends, I want you to remember that your home and marriage is to be built on the virtue of love. Paul spoke of that in 1 Corinthians when he said, Love is patient and kind, not jealous or boastful, not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It's not irritable, resentful. Don't rejoice at the wrong, but rejoices in the right. For love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Faith, hope, love about these three, but the greatest of these is love. Just before I pray and ask you to share your heart and vows one with another, the pastor would be amiss if we did not find a text about the eyes of the Lord somewhere. One of my favorite scriptures in all of the Word of God is 2 Chronicles 16, in verse number 9, where the Bible says that the eyes of the Lord go to and fro throughout the whole earth, searching for one whose heart is completely His, that he might show himself strong on their behalf. God looks at you today. The eyes of the Lord, of course, are perfect. They need no surgery. They need no help. His eyes are pure. They are righteous. And they are watching you today. If he finds you completely and totally committed to him, he will show himself strong on your behalf. You always, as you do your work, remember the eyes of the Lord are in place. Father, I ask you today, in the strong name of Jesus, that you would bind together with your favor, J.D. and Laura, this day, hear their vows now from their heart. And I pray, Lord, that they would love you with all of their soul all the days of their life. And I commit them now unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. As you two come to this place, there is commitment as well as responsibility that enter into the vows that you will have. There will be responsibilities, joys alike. And when companions share a sorrow, it's half. When we share a joy, it's double. And the two become one together. I'm going to ask you if it is now the intent of your heart to live for a lifetime with this one that you stand here with today, that you would show that to me and all that are gathered here by the joining of your right hands, please. Remember the words of the Koheleth, the preacher of Ecclesiastes, who said in chapter 5 and verse 5, it is better never to vow and the vow and not pay. You'll break these vows honorably before God only by the death of your spouse. J.D., rest assured, there is to be no one else in your life from this day forward. Or no one else. We come to forsake all others and give our heart and life to one for a lifetime. In the eyes of the Lord watch over us. J.D., please repeat these words after me 
and under your bride. I, JD, take you, Laura. I, JD, take you, Laura. To be my wife. To be my wife. I commit myself to your happiness. I commit myself to your happiness. And self-fulfillment as a person. And self-fulfillment as a person. And to your usefulness in God's kingdom. And to your usefulness in God's kingdom. I promise to love and honor. I promise to love and honor. Trust and serve you. Trust and serve you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In adversity and prosperity. In adversity and in prosperity. And to be true and loyal to you. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. This is my covenant before God. This is my covenant before God. Amen. Amen. Or if you likewise repeat these words after me and unto JD. I, Laura, take you, JD. I, Laura, take you, JD. To be my husband. To be my husband. I commit myself to your happiness. I commit myself to your happiness. And self-fulfillment as a person. And to your usefulness in God's kingdom. I promise to love and honor. I promise to love and honor. Trust and serve you. Trust and serve you. In sickness and in health. In, health. in adversity and prosperity. In adversity and prosperity. And to be true and loyal to you. So long as we both shall live. This is my covenant. Amen. Thank you. Give me your strength and show me your weakness. We're in this together now. We're in this together now. You will not always have your hands together, but you will leave here with a token. Uh, gold, pure, an unbroken circle. That's the way our love is to be. This ring does not make you married. I have one with my own left hand here. It's not the one my wife placed on my hand. I lost the first one. In the black water of an Oklahoma River. It was not a good day. That ring is not what makes you married. It's the seal of the heart and soul. But you take these rings and wear them proudly so the world will know and everyone who sees that you are covenant and committed for one for a lifetime. Eddie, would you please take this ring, slip it onto your bride's hand, repeat these words after me and unto her. Laura, with this ring, Laura, with this ring, I pledge my life, I pledge my life, and my love to you, and my love to you, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Laura, if you'd likewise take this ring, place it on the ring finger of JD's left hand, hold it there, and repeat these words after me and unto him. JD, with this ring, JD, with this ring, I pledge my love. And my life to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Give me your strength and show me your weakness. We're in this together now. We're in this together now. Give me your love and tell me your secrets Cause we're in this together now Yeah, we're in this together now Falling down, even if we're falling down, all of me is yours, every part of me. Cause we're in this together now, you and me together now. Since these two have made these covenant commitments before God, this assembly, 
by the authority of God as minister of the glorious gospel of our crucified and resurrected Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and according to the laws of the state of Florida and the maritime law of the bay. <laughs> I now declare that J.D. and Laura are husband and wife. Remember what Jesus said. What God has joined together, let no man ever separate. J.D., you may kiss your bride. And ladies and gentlemen, I give you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Doctor and Doctor, <laughs> J.D. Vandenberg. Amen. <laughs>
Step aside for just one dance. The second dance always belongs to the father of the bride. wedding anniversary. And we're so honored to now 
our shared anniversary with you two. Jamie and I pray we will have as long and happy of a marriage as you two have had. We love you. Cheers to 62 years. Ladies and gentlemen, I, at this time, we'd like to turn the floor over to Craig Walker. Pastor, you're going to offer a blessing on our meal this evening. I'm going to offer a prayer of thanks and thanksgiving, first of all, for J.P. and Laura, now that they have sealed the deal. And uh, would you bow your heads and pray with me, please? Lord, first we thank you for this obvious display of your handiwork. Many gathered here watched as either J.D. or little Laura grew up to become the beautiful young adults they are today. It seems like only yesterday that three little girls were jumping up and down like popcorn on our trampoline in the backyard. Some of us have known them for most of their lives. But you, Lord, have not missed a single day or detail. From the time they were knit together in their mother's womb, you have carefully watched over, protected, and loved them. And today as we celebrate this union, we collectively stand amazed at your goodness, your beauty, and your wisdom of bringing these two together and make them one. We can all exclaim, look what the Lord has done. Thank you for these parents who have done such a wonderful job to raise and support J.D. and Laura. Thank you for their families and friends who have been there for them every step of the way. And thank you for the promise for their future. You say, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in the future. Lord, I pray they will always keep you as the centerpiece of their lives. Always acknowledge you as the head of their home. And always serve you with joy and gladness all their days. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And bless the food. Amen. Amen. Amen.
from the very beginning that you were the kindest, most caring person that he knows, and that you guys are perfect for each other. So please, don't be afraid to come back and visit us in Pawnee. I know that we don't have sunshine beaches, uh, but we do have amazing Casey's breakfast pizza. You can fly it and you can play a game of that. whatever you guys want. So, if everyone would, please grab a drink. I got it. Alright, so uh, there's no perfect, and there always will be struggle. Together, you guys will get to that struggle together. You will argue, you will grow, side by side, never above, never below, but always beside one another. May your neighbors respect you, trouble neglect you, the angels protect you, and have this exception to hear to JD and Laura. There's only one. 
one more formality before we send them on their way. And I spent eight years in there almost graduated, so I absolutely had an intro to this game play. together now we're in this together now